Hi everyone, welcome back to week two, Love Does Kids Edition. I'm Miss Natalie and I'm so excited that you're joining us again. We're gonna go ahead and start today by setting our altar. So if you wanna set your own altar at home, go ahead and grab a cross, a bell, a candle and the Bible and you can do your own or you can feel free to join with me. Will you say the words with me? The cross reminds us that Jesus loves us and Jesus died for us. The candle reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world. Our bell is our call to worship. And we have the Bible, which is God's story, and it's your story too. If you have your book, Love Does for Kids, and you want to join in, go ahead and grab yours. We are going to turn to the first chapter in the book, and it's on page four. It is called Mistakes. Now, this is a story about Bob when he was in kindergarten. When I was in kindergarten, we had nap time every afternoon. I know, it sounds boring, right? I thought so too. The only thing I liked about nap time was a special job I hoped to get. Every day, the teacher would pick someone to be the wake up fairy. The wake up fairy got to put on wings, tap people on their shoulders with a magic wand and announce that it was time to wake up. I thought it was the coolest job in the world and I couldn't wait for my turn. One day, my moment finally came. My teacher picked me to be the wake up fairy. It's finally my chance. I'll be the best wake up fairy the world has ever seen. I thought to myself, I put on the fairy wings, grabbed the wand and headed around the room to do my job but I was so excited that I forgot to walk carefully. As I ran through the classroom, tapping my friends on their shoulders, I stepped on somebody's nose. My teacher wasn't happy. In fact, I'd had so much trouble listening and following directions that she took away my wand and wings. To tell you the truth, it felt pretty awful. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I was just so excited to do my job that I forgot to look where I was going. Has this ever happened to you? Have you ever tried your hardest to do the right thing, but messed up anyway? We've all messed up now and then, and it can feel pretty awful. What I learned later in life from Jesus is that when we mess up, we don't have to keep feeling awful. When Jesus picked out his friends and asked them to spend time with him, he didn't go to the people who were the smartest in school or the most popular. He didn't even look for people with fancy jobs or nice houses or those who made a lot of money. He definitely didn't look for people who always listened to their teachers or the ones who hadn't made mistakes before. The Bible says Jesus saw a few fishermen near the edge of a lake and chose them to be his closest friends. I bet those fishermen had so much trouble in school that they didn't even go anymore. They probably didn't even have their nets on the right side of the boat most of the time but Jesus picked them anyway. Jesus asked a tax collector to follow him too. Nobody likes a tax collector because they stole other people's lunch money and called it their own. In fact, Jesus spent so much time with people who had made big mistakes that people started saying not so nice things about Jesus behind his back. But Jesus didn't care what it would look like if he loved people who made mistakes he wanted everybody who had ever messed up to know that he liked them all the same. He even used their mistakes to prove how much he really loved them. It's sometimes easy to think that when we make a mistake, we are somehow a little less worthy of being loved or, when, or that when people think about us, they'll only think about our mistake we made. What I didn't realize when I made a big mistake in kindergarten is that God's love for us doesn't change on our worst days. Come to think of it, we can't earn more of God's love on our best days. We are simply loved by God no matter what. And because of Jesus, God doesn't define us by our mistakes. That day as the wake up fairy wasn't my only bad day at school. School had always been hard for me and at times I wanted to quit, but you know what? I didn't. I believed that Jesus loved me even when I struggled because the stories I read about Jesus showed he didn't see people for their mistakes. He saw them for who they were becoming even when they couldn't see it for themselves. 
What I didn't know as I failed Wake Up Fairy was that someday if I kept at it, I would go to school and become a lawyer. I would get a chance to help kids all around the world by starting new schools that they could go to. And the only rule we have for our students at school is this. We always try our best, but when we make mistakes, we remember how Jesus loves us no matter what. Jesus knew that mistakes don't keep people from doing important things. Remember those fishermen he met at the lake? Well, they ended up traveling all over, telling people all about Jesus. And the tax collector, he eventually started a church. Can you believe that? All of this has happened because Jesus told each of his friends who they were becoming and they believed him. So the next time you make a mistake, just think to yourself, I am loved and I am God's. And I wonder who God is turning me into. Here is the answer. You are becoming a helper. You are becoming a leader. You are becoming love. So raise your hand if you have ever made a mistake. I know I have. Just last week when I was reading a story to you guys, I made a mistake and I made it four times. And you know what? I learned something new from that. I learned that there is a way to pronounce the word Yosemite, not Yosemite, Yosemite. But making mistakes is okay because it just teaches us new things. And it doesn't change that God doesn't love me or he doesn't want me to grow or be somebody important. He still loves me no matter what. And so this week, as you go through your family guide, you're going to do some great activities. You're going to learn how some of the greatest things like Play-Doh was made all because of a mistake. And you're also going to read some scripture in the Bible. You're going to read John 21 verses 15 through 19. And it talks about Jesus and one of the disciples, Peter, and how Peter made a mistake a little bit at the beginning in not loving Jesus. But just wait, read the story and see how it turns out. So before we close, can we say a prayer together? Will you join me? Dear God, help us to feed and take care of one another, just like Jesus asked Peter to do. Help us to lift one another up when we make mistakes and give us the courage to try again. Remind us that no matter what, you are with us. In your name we pray, amen. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.